are in my pocket. The beach is my favourite place and I love spending time at our beach hut. And guess what? Someone new in town had just put the beach hut opposite and he works in the Sunny Sands Bank. And today, Mum had invited him round for a party. And it was going to be a pirate party. Yo ho ho and away we go, over the waves so And the reason why we were having a pirate party was that, although our new neighbour worked in a bank, what he really, really wanted to be was... Yo ho! Heave ho! Horatio! A pirate! A pirate called Horatio Heave Ho! Now, Horatio had only just found out that his great great granddad, Grumpy Beard, was a pirate. And that's why he wanted to be one too. He loves his parrot Stinky. Who's a pretty boy then? Ooh. He loves his pirate ship. What a fine vessel. And he loves Grumpy Beard's secret chest that he's never opened. But most of all, he loves roaring. Yo ho! Heave ho! Horatio! Why don't we open the chest at the party with our new friend, Stinky? What a good idea! What a good idea! So that's exactly what happened. Horatio went to unlock his great great granddad Grumpy Beard's chest for the first time. And in the chest there was a bottle. A bottle! And in the bottle there was a message. A message! A message! A message. I wonder what it says. Treasure! Treasure! Oh, I knew where, it! Where? The treasure that I buried will soon be in your hands. So dig until you find it. On the beach at Sunny Sands! Sunny Sands? If I can dig up treasure, I'll be a real pirate! Let's get digging, me hearties! No time to waste! Hey, Stinky? Oh! No time to waste! Absolutely! To the beach! Oh, no, Grandpa. You're better off at home. Digging is very tiring. I'm coming too, Jason. There's something a bit odd about Horatio. I can't quite put my finger on it. But I think you're going to need my help. Not a shrinking cup, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get up to all kinds of mischief. He can fly off in my plane. He can chuff about in our Sunny Sands train. And today, he was running around the garden. Jason, hurry up! There was nothing I could do. I put Grandpa on my belt and ran after the others. So we all got into Campo and off we went. And Horatio said... Treasure! Imagine that! We'll dig until we find it, and I'll be a real pirate! Yo-ho, heave-ho, Horatio! When we got to the beach, we got some spades out of the hut, and everyone split up to dig in different places. And I went into our beach hut to put Grandpa down. We can't let him dig up the whole beach, Jason. Beach Horatio. Yeah. I'm gonna dig until I find the treasure. That's what real pirates do. And I wanna be a real pirate. I reckon. I reckon it's under there. Let's move everything out, then we can knock down the hut and start digging. No, no, Horatio, you can't! You can't I was really it. worried that he'd see Grandpa, but Grandpa jumped into a jug on the table. Then Horatio picked up the table. Stop! You must stop! What's the matter? Horatio wants to lock down the hut to dig. Well, I, I, I don't What's think the matter? Horatio wants to knock down our hut to dig. Well, I, I really would rather you didn't. You can't knock our hut down. I want my treasure. Without my treasure, I'm not a real pirate. Come and sit down. We'll get you some water. <sighs> I'll get it! You calm Horatio down. I don't need calming down. I just need my treasure. I grabbed the jug with Grandpa in it and rushed inside the hut. Whew. That was close. What are we going to do, Grandpa? Well, you keep him busy in a piratey way 
and I'll think of something. Okay. I gave Horatio some water while I tried to think up a piratey way of keeping him busy. Suddenly, I thought of something. Let us sing a piratey song while we have a rest from digging. Great idea! But I don't know any piratey songs. We do! at the door of the hut. What was he up to now, I wondered? Who are you? I soon found out. Grandpa was on top of the beach hut, joining in. Suddenly, I saw Grandpa running towards Horatio's hat, and then he disappeared under it. Well, I know no song, but I still don't have my treasure. I'm not a real pirate if I can't dig up treasure. Oh, but you are a real pirate. Yes, you're definitely a real pirate. In what way am I a real pirate? Well, you're, 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 you're very, um, you're very, uh, uh brave. 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 Yes, you're very brave. Oh, you are. You're incredibly brave. Am I? Yes. You can roar! Yes, I suppose that's true. I am brave, and I can roar like a real pirate. Yo-ho! Heave-ho! Horatio! Ah! It's a scuttly thing! There's a great big scuttly sea monster under my hat! Ah! Of course, I knew exactly who the big scuttly sea monster was. Grandpa! Get him over here as quick as you can. Okay. I'm no good as a pirate. I didn't know any piratey songs. I'm not brave. But I still don't have my treasure. <laughs> Why don't you have a rest, Horatio? And maybe we can get some ice creams. Lovely. You have a little rest, and we'll get the ice cream. And I'll stay and guard the beach hut in case he has any more ideas about knocking it down. Right. I'm never going to be a real pirate, Stinky. Not like Grumpy Beard, am I? No, you're not. Yes, you are. Who's that? Of course you are. <gasps> Don't be alarmed, me old hearty. I'm Captain Teeny Toes, the smallest pirate ever to sail the seven seas. Yes, I can see you are really ever so small. Arr, ever so small, but ever so clever. You see, today, pirates don't have to dig up treasure. They don't? No. Who needs treasure when they got friends? Friends? Who are? Friends like the Mason family, for instance. Think of all the fun you could have together on this lovely beach. No, you wouldn't want to dig all that up now, would you? Eh? Mom so charming and bubbly. Dad so kind and helpful. Jemima so pretty and so full of fun. And Jason, bright young lad, always ready to lend a hand. And then, of course, there's Grandpa. Well, the funny old man, you mean? Oh, well, he might be old and funny, but he's he's really quite wonderful, you know. Is he? Who oh, are? Everybody wants to be a friend of Grandpa. Grandpa's a genius. Well, I never. Here you go, Horatio. We came back with the ice creams, and I handed one to Horatio. <laughs> Out of the corner of my eye, I saw Grandpa about to jump off the pirate ship. How are you feeling, Horatio? I'll tell you how I'm feeling. I'm feeling like a real pirate, I am. Oh, really? That's oh, it. I had a dream, you see. And in my dream, a tiny little pirate called Captain Teeny Toe spoke to me and said, to be a real pirate, you don't need treasure. You just need friends. Oh, oh, so oh, and I've got all of you as my friends. All of you. 
And Grandpa, of course. Oh, oh yes, yeah, I'm Grandpa. Who I'm told is a genius. Really? <laughs> At the end of the afternoon, I took my genius Grandpa home and rushed inside ahead of everyone else. I put him down on the floor, he whipped off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. We did it, Jason. We stopped our new friend Horatio from digging up our beach. We did, Grandpa. And do you know what I call it? Teamwork. Teamwork! <laughs> oh, what a day! Oh, Grandpa, I'm so glad you didn't come with us. Exhausting! But I'm sure Horatio will come and visit you soon. He thinks you're a genius. I wonder where he got that idea from. We managed to stop him from pulling down our beach hut and digging for treasure. Well, that is good. I always say, my friends are my treasure. That's odd. That's what Captain Teeny Toe said. Who? Don't worry, Grandpa, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> Troubles really began. I've learned a lot of stuff being an intergalactic bounty hunter. First, never try to eat spaghetti in zero gravity. Second, never call someone miss unless you're absolutely sure they are. And last, never, ever, ever reawaken an army of space traveling mummies by stealing their favorite pharaoh. Problem. It's not like we insulted them or took anything. Oh, yeah. And don't lie to your feisty young sidekick unless you want to get a smack. See, mini rodents. Dirty rat. <laughs> Big oh. asteroids. No one's ever called me that before. No problem. We'll just turn around. <laughs> The chances of successfully navigating an asteroid field are a ah! ah, relax, kid. I've done this hundreds of times. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh. Eh, could have been worse. You stole it? I borrowed it. To sell for fuel? How could I know they would get so crazy over some old coffin thingy? Sarcophagus. Bless you. <laughs> What's the matter, hamster? Forget how to park. That's bounty hamster to you, you paddle-headed, four-legged... Um... How do you insult a moose? I was thinking perhaps I could help take a weight off your mind. That's nice of him. He's being sarcastic, isn't he? Uh-huh. In fact, I was thinking of one way in particular. Nothing personal. I don't see why we should fall out over this. <laughs> fall out. I'd crack myself up. We appear to have stopped falling. I'm gonna turn him into soup! Can you make more soup? Is there a recipe for that? Do you think you can have a rant without the jumping up and down? Uh-oh. Pyramid's back. <gasps> down here. No. Good. All the snakes will have eaten them. Hold your horses, kid. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Beware! And sometimes there's a fire. Itchy, itchy, itchy chin. Itchy, itchy, itchy chin. Itchy chin. Knights of the Golden Ponder, who among you is pure enough to ask the all-seeing chin a question? Brother Ambidextrous, 
Have you passed the trial of the thousand knives? Sir, yes, sir. Have you conquered the torment of the woolen jumper? Sir, yes, sir. What about the ordeal of the hot pancake? Came back in seconds, sir. Anyone else here think they're loonies? Then you may ask any question of the all-seeing chin. If it judges you pure of heart, it will answer truthfully. If not, you will perish. Almighty Chin, what is the meaning of life? Brother Ami Dexterous was not pure of heart, although he was quite tasty. Uh. Every time. Whoa! Keep your voice down or they'll hear us. Come on, they can't hear me up here. I heard something up there! Search the nose! There's something in here! No way, we are not stealing a five-foot golden chin. Okay. But, uh, wouldn't you like to ask him where your dad is? Well, yes, but... Hey, not fair! We, we have intruders in our midst! Seal the chin within the secret chamber! Now how are we going to get to it? By being very, very clever. We are the knights who guard the chin. We are the knights who guard the chin. No one gets out, no one gets in. No one gets out, no one gets in. Tremble those who seek our treasure. Tremble those who seek our treasure. We will punch you at our leisure. We will punch you at our leisure. That secret room is quite a biz. Someone tell me where it is. To reach the room with the chin in it, go down those stairs and... Oh, wait a minute. Remove your hoods. Excuse me if I don't look so swell. Lately, I ain't been too well. Yeah! Yeah! Seize that infidel gymnast! The basement? Cantacombs. Gesundheit. This way to the secret chamber of the Golden Chin. Please mind your head. Nice of them to warn us. And I was thinking of getting my nose pierced. Hi. Whoa. Very dangerous. You go first. Aha! That's where we came in! You gotta admire my plan ahead parking. Whoa! The trial of a thousand knives! The torment of the woolen jumper! The ordeal of the hot pancakes. Wow, you did great! Who dares chins? Welcome, stranger. You have truly proved yourself worthy. Approach and ask your question. Make it a really hard riddle. And I'll grab the cold. That's not why I'm here. Oh, wise and unlikely chin, please tell me where can I find my. Yeah! Now we'll never know. Not him again. Afraid so. And once more, you've led me to a treasure. When I get free, your biology! Don't you mean history? I knew it was something to do with school. Sometimes this is just too easy. Oops. Looks like my exit's gonna bring the ass down. <laughs> bring the ass down. I should have my own show. Do you think it's changing itself into something more contemporary? Run! Yeah! Quick, up on the altar. <laughs> Stinking sawdust, that was close. This is closer. They have defiled the chin. They have destroyed the temple. For what you have done here today, your punishment will be acute. Don't call me! 
Cute! Uh, to the ass down. Gee, you're funny. Yep, you're great to be around. In fact, I've had a ball. <laughs> Don't you just love gratuitous film references? Tell us what you have done with the old seeing chin. Have you guys ever considered there's more to life than all seeing chins? Hey, there's a sentence I bet I never say again. I believe you're looking for this. No, we were looking for a chin, not a bottom. Ow! We didn't mean any harm, but I think we did harm. We're sorry. The old seeing chin knows your words are true, but alas, it is too late to save us. We are doomed. You have earned the right to one question. Best ask it while you can. Oh, great! An improbable chin! Please tell me what happened to my father. Oh, just scratch that. Sorry, Dad. How do we get out of here alive? Run? Run? What kind of answer is run? Ask a simple question. But the ship's still stuck! We won't be able to take off! You climb aboard. We will take care of that. But... It is our way. Fire thrusters! Kickstart! Those poor knights. There's not much legroom back there. Okay, I got one question. What happened to that moose guy? He, he went, went to see, see his mummy. <laughs> mummy. <laughs> Let me out! Let me out! Yes, here's the spot, me hearties, where the good ship Dolphin was blown by a hurricane 50 years ago, tossed high on an iceberg, and there they say she lies, frozen forever in the polar wastes, with a great treasure of diamonds aboard, abandoned by her crew. That is our next expedition, lads, to the frozen north, to recover the lost diamonds of the Dolphin. We leave at dawn. Ha, ha, ha. So they do, do they? We leave tonight. <laughs> It was some weeks later when the captain's polar expedition reached the edge of the ice cap and set off across the frozen wastes in their search for the diamonds of the dolphin. The captain had issued special Arctic clothing, but even so, the cold was so bitter as they pushed forward in the teeth of the freezing gale. Never mind, Tom lad. Thanks to your excellent, uh, I mean, my excellent map reading, we must be nearly there. Hey, well, 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 what would that he said, pirate be? Can't hear nothing, mate. <laughs> My teeth is chattering too loud. Captain, Captain, we're here. We've reached our destination. See? Dithering Dutchman, it's the dolphin. No doubt about it. Forward, me hearties. The diamonds are ours. <laughs> Yes, it's the dolphin, all right. But what did I tell you? Now, I wonder where they kept the diamonds. In the captain's cabin, if we were anything like some captains, I know. Oh, will I never? Hey, look at that. Gentlemen, our quest is at an end. As I predicted, the diamonds of the dolphin are ours. My. Get them sparklers. Hours for the taking. Ha! Ooh, oh! Ha, ha, ha! Yours for the taking, eh? Yours for the eye jump, more likely. Cos I was here afore, and the gems is mine. Mine! Truss them up, me handsomes. 
and grab their winter woolies while we're at it. We must be getting back home, leaving this lot to perish a cold, like fish fingers in a freezer. Very soon, Pugwash and his crew were tied and helpless, and Jake and his men were so busy putting on their warm clothes that they forgot all about Tom and didn't notice what he was up to by the cabin window. In fact, they didn't even know that he was there at all. So now we must be on our way. Night, night, sleep tight, and make sure the frost don't bite. <laughs> Um, shh! Give Jake and his crew time to get away. Right. They've gone. Now, if I can just get you free, Captain. Right. You untie the others. I'll go and get the sledge ready for the return. How's that, then? We'll get back a sight faster than we came. All aboard! So the pirates set off back to the Black Key, carried along by the same bitter wind which had battered them on the way out. Fire the port, Tom, lad. Now, uh, two points to starboard. Black Pig ahoy, Captain! Strike the mainsail. Prepare to heave to. Poor old cutthroat Jake. <laughs> I'm just too clever for him, eh, my hearties? Yeah, but, well, uh, he has absconded with the diamonds. Oh, no, Master Mate. He hasn't got them. But, 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 but he took the box. Yes, but I've got the diamonds here in my pockets. You see, I filled the box with lumps of ice while they were tying you up. And all that Jake will have when he gets back into the warmth is a box full of water. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.